here we go. Basic floors in between the lines. Three, two, one, go. Movement on the field now. Blue lines with all three robots having taken to the field. Moving past the half line. Red Alliance earning 12 points very quickly as all three of their robots move off the levels and into the Primus soil. Period comes to an end. Unofficially, we've got the Red Alliance out in front, 17 to 12. Keep your eye on 1787. That's a stop sign shaped robot that has been so strong all week long. Trying to deliver some more cargo to the front of the Blue Alliance cargo ship. Does so, then very quickly moves away to grab some more cargo. Red Alliance able to do the same. Delivering cargo to the cargo hold of the Red Alliance cargo ship there on the near side. Two of the Red Alliance robots teaming up to do that. 6084, one of those robots, Swoop Robotics. Really making a name for themselves at this event this year. 554, grabbing another piece of cargo. Trying to maneuver in a position to help load up the Red Alliance cargo ship. On the other side of the planet, we're watching on the near side as first team 3201, Ross Rambotics, scoops up some more cargo, some more specimens for return to Earth. Navigates around the back of the Blue Alliance cargo ship and in position to offload that cargo into the cargo hold. Cargo falls just short, back on the pavement. 3201 scrambles to pick it up, tries to place it again. In the meantime, it's 1787 for the Blue Alliance, trying to add a hatch panel. Hatch panel is slightly off center. Now it falls down to the terrain. Less than 30 seconds remaining. Very close matchup, 47 to 41. Blue Alliance with the lead, but the Red Alliance is charging. It's gonna come down to the end game, and we're in the middle of it now. 156, trying to climb up on level two of the blue half. They were nearly there, then they fell back off. Time has expired. First of Blue Alliance. Blue Alliance wins this close one with a score of 56 to 50. Having scored some 14 hatch panels and 24 cargo pods during that match.